Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. In today's video, we are testing out how oxygen affects the decomposition of food. Will it make any difference if we remove the oxygen from the environment? Okay, Nate. I got more Petri dishes. Very cool. They smell awful. I bet. So guys, a while ago I made a video testing if food would rot or go stale differently in a vacuumed container, so with no air in it. But Callie had an idea of how to change that up just a little bit. Here's the basic idea. We have three different types of food and we are going to test how fast they decompose with oxygen and without. Is it going to make any difference and how is it going to change? Yes, you can vacuum out the air, but when food is decomposing, gases are gonna be released, other stuff is going to build up. However, oxygen absorbers, they continually work to keep food, not necessarily fresh, but to keep oxygen out. That's why food can stay on the shelf in a grocery store for a really long time. I got a lot of them, like We've a got, lot of them. We have a lot of oxygen absorbers, mm -hmm. which should do a pretty good job of pulling a lot of oxygen out of our containers. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But then we thought we should also go the other direction. So we're going to split everything up mm -hmm. and in some of the containers, we'll have a lot of those and very low oxygen. And in the other ones, we're going to try and fill them with 100% oxygen and then seal it. We're just gonna pump them. it in there. Just fill it up and seal it down so they have as much O2 as we can fit into a container. So we'll have slices of regular food, so like the apples, the cheese. We'll have some in Petri dishes. We'll have some that are just kind of chilling however it wants to work. So when I was in the store, I was looking for containers that were big enough for me to comfortably fit one of our Petri dishes in. And this is what I found. Problem is, they only had four. So we also have these ones. So let's think about how we want to do this. I think with all of them, like with the O2, we're, we can split it up with okay. two and two and one and one. Okay. And it's not going to be a 100% perfect only oxygen environment, but it will be much higher. These aren't perfect seals, guys. These containers are from Walmart. It's not a perfect control test. Not everything's sanitized. We'll add plastic over it to do our best. increase how well it seals down but it should be pretty good and we should have a big difference between really low oxygen and really high oxygen. I don't want to touch the agar, so. And then, yeah, and then the other half. Okie dokie. All right, so there's this one. And then this one will just kind of be off on the side. And there's that one off on the side. This is attached to our oxygen tank. When we're making liquid oxygen, we submerge this in liquid nitrogen to cool it down. In this case, we want it to just still be a gas. So I'm gonna slowly open it, fill this chamber with oxygen, try and seal it up as best I can. It should be a very high oxygen environment at this point. I want to fill a bag with oxygen and oxygen absorbers <laughs> and see what happens. All right, I like it. This is the safe way to open one of these. Oh, yep, sure enough. Iron powder? Oh yeah. So it's just the same as the hand warmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could make our own hand warmers out of these. All right, we're gonna yep. put these in the utility room where it's fairly consistently warm and uh, leave them there for a while. Two days, let's see. Well, I'll be here. See you in two days. Oh, okay. Bye. See you, Mark. Have fun. So while we wait to see which way keeps food the longest, something that will keep you secure online is NordVPN. NordVPN is the best VPN service out there and keeps your data safe online. Every time you use the internet, your data is exposed and available for hackers to intercept and download. That includes your bank passwords, credit card numbers, your address, and pretty much anything you put into a form online. So while it might seem daunting to put your data at risk, NordVPN is there to protect your data from any dangerous third party. By using NordVPN, your data is now stepping out into the internet with safety glasses on, protected from anything that may come its way. 
NordVPN is especially great to use because it has thousands of super fast servers in over 60 countries, allowing for unlimited bandwidth and is just simple to use. Open the map, select the country you want to send your data through and you're good to go. NordVPN also works with Android and iOS, so you can be protected no matter where you are. Perhaps my favorite part of using a VPN is that by allowing you to route your data through a different country, you can access Netflix, YouTube, as if you were in those countries too. It's pretty cool. Right now, Nord is also offering a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee for those who sign up using our link in the description. They also have a special offer for our viewers of 70% off a three-year plan, and by using the code RANDOM, you can get an additional month for free. So click the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash random to protect your data today. We've let our food, both with and without oxygen, just sit in these containers in a fairly warm environment. Let's see how things have changed. I'm already seeing some differences in here, so mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about that. I am too. I am willing to open everything that has an oxygen absorber. I think somebody may have used way too much tape on this one. How dare somebody. Hey, I gotta say, we've got a oh, lot of growth gross. happening here. Just kind of smell like blue cheese. So, you know, that's, that's a sign. Oh, it just hit me. No. <laughs> it looks like in both of them, the little cheese rounds that we put on the agar have like disintegrated. Oh, that was a cheese agar. round. Okay. Yeah, we cut them in half and now they're cheese not round. So you have so much less happening. I see none. Those. You've got like a little bit of wow, spotting on worse. the... It smells very different. Like yours still smells kind oh. of like mozzarella. And agar, that's what I'm smelling. When I say smells worse, okay. that's the agar dish. I just don't like the smell of agar agar. Oh, this is so strong of the blue cheese smell though. My goodness. All right, so we've got mold on both of them. These were mm -hmm. not well sealed. No. This just had a lid, lid on it. placed over it. And I don't think I tried to pump any oxygen into this one. It just didn't have the oxygen absorber. It looks pretty similar, except that where this was actually in contact mm -hmm. with it, there's no mold growing. I think it just couldn't grow underneath it. Yep. But all around the sides of it, we have very similar looking mold, mm -hmm. a little bit more yellow color, whatever that's good for. Yeah. Size Still and fewer, quantity. Fewer, fewer colonies are happening there. <laughs> looking in the sides of the container, uh, it doesn't look like we actually have much happening in our bread. And this reminds me of when we, the last time we tried to mold bread, like I got a thing of bread, a brand that had been easily moldy before. And we like took it out and we touched it and we spread pieces of it on like walls. And I think the toilet seat and stuff like that. Bad. And then we sealed it up and it took like a month for uh -huh. it to mold. And it was bread that both of us have taken home at one point or another. And it's just been on our counter for a night and we're just like, and it's moldy. Um, my bread is still soft and and bread like got it smells like agar i'm not going to in any way attempt to eat it but this almost would be safe i feel like i've got one little spot that might be mold it also might just be a flake of bread crust that's falling off but i'm pretty sure that's a little spot of mold there is a slight bump that knocked the apple out of the petri dish and then I just tried to get it back in by shaking it a lot and ended up with all of the apple in the petri dish. I didn't know this had happened. So all of this apple is in the petri dish. Only part of that apple is in the petri dish. Huh. Do you have any mold on yours? I have, I think okay. you got a spot yeah, on, so the, on the large slice. Little tiny bit right there. Hmm. It's so like, okay, right there, a little bit of grain. Oh no. Rotten. Oh, so rotten. Look the one that. with the just pile of oxygen absorbers. Wait, time out. Ready for this? That's maybe. mold right there. One colony. One, maybe two. But yeah, very little. Whereas this is like entirely made up of mold at this oh point. Oh my gosh, that looks like a plant. Yeah, that is super, super disgustingly moldy and gross compared to like a tiny bit of mold in a couple of spots on the one with all the oxygen absorbers. So, yeah. you, want, it's, it's, you, you want to call this one high oxygen? Definitely more Oh my mold. goodness, well look, just look at the, just a yeah, glance all, at the results. All of this is like, well, okay, the bread we can just, yeah, that didn't go anywhere, but no. more moldy, more moldy, more moldy. Wow. Noticeably across the board. Low oxygen versus concentrated oxygen. We got a crazy high difference. So much more growth when we had added oxygen in. 
and it's disgusting. So, O2 for the win. There you go. Thanks again to our sponsor, NordVPN. Remember, there is a special offer available now to our viewers, 70% off a three-year plan by using the code RANDOM. You can also get that additional month off free. So go to nordvpn.com slash random or click the link in the description and get protected today. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.